All right, today I'm going to show you how to make an uh, avocado tree with this avocado seed. All right, I really like avocados, so I got a lot of them here I'm going to try and do for you. So what you're going to need is some cups. You can use plastic or you can use glass. And what you need to do is you need to get your seeds. And when you're done eating your avocado, you need to dry and wash them so they look like this. And now what you need to do is locate where it is fatter. The broader side, the bottom looks broader, is the part that is going to be down in your cup. You're going to need some toothpicks. You need to fill your containers completely to the top with water. Toothpicks. All right, then we're going to take our toothpicks. You're going to need about three of the toothpicks per avocado. And what you need to do is have the avocado, you're going to put the toothpicks in where the seed will be about one inch in the water. So try and make it up high enough that at least half of it will be in the water. Alright, that looks about good. Now just place it in your cup of water. <sighs> and it goes too far. <laughs> and you can tell how far down it goes. So this is it's too much in the water. So I know I can go out some of the water. All right, now it looks perfect. The water is just underneath and it's sticking out a little bit from the water. So that's how you want it to be. like that. Right, let's do the other two cups. Okay, there we have it. I'm gonna try all three of them, maybe more if these do really well. I'm in the mood for avocados. <laughs> so now you need to either, if it's warm in your location, just plant them in a window, in a really sunny window so they get nice and warm. Me, I'm going to take them inside and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm putting my little avocado UFOs inside a bucket. See my bucket here? And I'm gonna attach to it this grow light I have. It's really just a LED daylight that I got on eBay. I'll leave you the link below in the description. This I use for everything. They are not called grow lights, but they're daylights and they're super much cheaper this is like 20 bucks compared to the grow light that costs you 300 dollars um this has um oh, what's it say on there 1600 it has 1600 lumens and it's really nice bright it's perfect i grow all my plants with it i have it in here with my little grow box my other light doing these plants it does perfect and see they're getting nice and strong so it's working excellent and I'm going to use it here for the avocados I just have it in one of these um, clamp lights so I could just clamp it under the bucket okay that's perfect now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it and the light gives off just enough light warmth that it should keep the temperature in here around 70 degrees and avocados like the nice warm temperature so that'll help with to sprout even faster than in my window because I don't have much of a window seal and it's not that warm yet so this for you guys want to try this project inside just make yourself a warm hot house if you will a bucket works perfect strap a light to it that gives off a little bit heat not too much heat these ones don't give off too much it's not going to burn anything and it should keep it around 70 degrees in here I'm going to cover it and um, it'll keep the heat in and just like I have on this bucket, I have an ice bucket here, it works enough. I don't have the lid on completely and it still keeps it around 70 in there. So I'm going to do the same thing here 
and these avocado seeds should be sprouting and it takes about two to six weeks so don't be discouraged just be patient if you do not see anything happening after six weeks get rid of the seed and try a new one and make sure you use organic seeds for the best results and you need to change your water if it gets cloudy and get some fresh water in there once a week and if it goes down obviously you need to keep the water level up to where you have the toothpicks in and after it starts to sprout you need to let it grow until it gets about six inches high and at six inches you want to cut it to about half so it'll be now three inches tall and just keep it here and let it grow again until it grows a few more leaves and you'll see the roots getting thicker and that's when it's ready to plant and at that time you need to put it in a pot and when you're potting it you're still going to keep part of the seed like that much of the seed that's out of the water that's still going to be sticking out of your pot and you leave it like that to grow until it gets another set of leaves and then again cut it back by half and it'll make it get more bushier and thicker and it'll get a uh, more stronger bush if you keep cutting it in half and then after it looks about as thick as you might want it to get you can let it grow on its own okay that's everything so you can get more information on my blog I'll leave the link below and please like and subscribe and I'll leave, leave, leave a link in the description for the light where you can get it and I really recommend it and it really works great for giving your plants a jump start and to encourage these to grow even faster than the two week period so go ahead and try it and let me know how you like it